Over 2,000 bakers across Nigeria converged on Eco Hotel and Suites to participate in the third edition of Dewdrops on Cut Learning, the largest cake seminar in Nigeria, to learn, exhibit, and network with experts within and outside Nigeria. According to the convener, the program was born out of the desire to empower women in the baking industry by giving them access to direct learning experiences from experts within and outside Nigeria to improve their craft. This on court learning is tagged the craft revamp. COVID hit us. COVID gave us, you know, reason to doubt ourselves. COVID made people's businesses die natural deaths. But you know what? We had to rise up. We had to learn. We had to relearn. We had to unlearn. We had to create ways on how to survive. That survival instinct brought about this. That deep survival instinct. How can we use what we have available? How can we measure up to the you know, expectations of our clients without you know, breaking the bank? You can see right behind me. You can see this. Check this out. That is what's going to happen. People are going to be very creative. People, and you know, guess what? Any party without a cake is what? A meeting. So people must surely eat cake. They must surely celebrate. So it gives room for a venue to do what? Create wealth out of the passion. So it's more like turning your passion into profit. This event is phenomenal. I've never seen anything like it in my life. It is very exciting um, to see all these people come from all over to attend that these women are sharing this knowledge with everyone is just amazing. Well, from the United States, looking at the Nigerian baking industry online, on social media, it is larger than life. It's flawless. It's very clean. Um, and it's just very large. It's, it's huge compared to what we do at home. Nigerians, because they, they do amazing, amazing things with sugar. They, they, they craft beautiful cakes. So we are there. We are top, we, the top 10. We should be in the top 10, I would say. I'm really, really happy super excited it's like a very big opportunity for me i've always been longing to be here but thank god i'm here i've been able to learn some new recipes um, new techniques on how to decorate fondant cakes and we are still going on so i'm very certain there are a whole lot more to learn they called on the government to improve the ease of doing business as the baking industry is, however, not without its challenges. The truth is, for the past five months, it's been hell for us. For the past five months, it's been hell. A bag of flour went as high as 35,000 naira. A bag of sugar, same thing. Butter, we can't even touch it. Oil, margarine, we can't even see our, the good brands we use because they are not available. Why? Because our suppliers can't even order. They can't even order because there's no dollar. The dollar is high. And when it comes back to us, a bucket of, of margarine we used to buy at 8,000 naira is 25,000 as of today. Tell me how much profit am I making? We're almost 2,000 people right inside here. I'm not even counting all these ones outside. Right inside here, about 2,000. So you can imagine these people jobless and what the menace it will cost in the society. So we need government to step up. <laughs> it's affecting us. Most of our products are imported, whether we like it or not. And the dollar rates, you, you see that your money you're making today, by next week, that profit you have is gone back to still buying that same thing. So you can't see any profit. That's what we're suffering. The event featured hours of training sessions with experts, baking competitions, awarding of grants to widowed bakers, as well as a rich display of well-crafted cakes and other product exhibitions.